Clark spoke about the next generation big data we're building in the academic spheres, I alluded a little bit to what big data actually means to us as academics. Whilst industry often portrays a big data as a product, as a final thing, I highlighted that actually for us, big data always meant the data which is beyond our capabilities. So it is always and has always been a journey of big data rather than a final product. So the Internet of Things will generate a large amount of data. We need to react very quickly on the data. So clearly the real-time capabilities of the Internet of Things is a, is a big value add. And we will see that in the uh, big data processing engines. Um, in general, it essentially all means it's just a really complex ecosystem which is evolving here because you get data which is potentially very large like videos from the internet. You get maybe some location data from phones and then you get a single bit from a sensor. So you get data from of very, very different characteristics. How do you deal with that from an information point of view, from a knowledge point of view, from, a, from an insight point of view? So these will be the big challenges, how to essentially make that data comparable and meaningful. So the, the biggest challenge currently we have as a community is actually to generate enough data from the Internet of Things to make this meaningful. So the Internet of Things is a little bit like a, still a concept. It's a very early days. Imagine 1992, 93 of the Internet. So we, we talk about this, we have some prototypes, but there's actually very little commercial out there running, generating data. So my company, World Sensing, does generate a lot of data. We have a lot of traffic data, so we're able to deal with that. So the biggest challenge is first to procure it, literally. And because it's a cyber physical infrastructure, um, you know, you need to actually deploy things. So it's not a pure digital data exercise, it's a physical exercise as well. So it will take time, literally will take time until it will, will take off. So the tactile internet is our next generation internet. The current internet, the fixed internet, mobile internet, the internet of things, is, a, is, a, is an information delivery network. It transmits maybe a video, maybe sound, maybe you know, uh, some digitized things, but it doesn't transmit tact, feeling, things you can do. So that is what we are building currently, and it requires literally a network which end-to-end -end has delays of one millisecond. So imagine you're trying to serve as a car, you're trying to do an operation remotely, and we are essentially building this type of infrastructure, which is very similar to the internet, but allows the edges to actuate to do things. It requires a lot of new techniques on, on reliability, on security, because you don't want somebody to do the operations for, for you, right? So you really want to secure that. So it's a totally different leak, literally. And uh, we managed to excite uh, the, the governments also about this because they understand that, you know, a lot of countries like the UK is a skill set driven country. So if you could export the skill set on this island without actually leaving, that would be a real value add to the economy. And we estimate that about 20% of the GDP could be boosted with that tactile internet. So to us academics, uh, big data is a journey, as I said. So it will always be this next step of doing the undoable. So, you know, and the tactile internet will generate a lot of real-time skill set, which needs to be protected, cloudified, analyzed. We need to put a lot of predictive intelligence on top, which needs to reside at the edges, because uh, just the speed of light limits your, your range of action, right? So if you want to have a millisecond delay, 300 kilometers per second speed of light gives you 300 kilometers. You halve that because the signal has to go back, it's 150 kilometers. So if you have your surgeon 1,000 kilometers away, how, you, how do you do that? If you have your painter 1,000 uh, kilometers away because you want to teach somebody to, to, to paint somewhere, how do you do that? So they're totally new techniques, uh, very predictive techniques. Artificial intelligence, a holistic domain, will really take off in that space.